So uh, in the balance view training, we are introduced to really checking for ourselves if there's something stable about us as human beings. Like a sensation, a quality, an experience of something being completely stable and are completely always turned on, a quality you can always rely on. And in this training we call that quality open intelligence. And it's beyond all labels, it's an experience. So you, you come here only to be supported for you to check in your own experience if that is who you are. So it's just such an important instruction we give in this training. It is to, for you to really test and see if that is so for you. And that's what I've done and that's why I'm here and I know I have something about me that is all pervasive. It does, it's not located anywhere. But it's an experience of myself as being stable no matter what. As being clear and open and available no matter what. And if you're curious about what that is, or you know it, but want to know it one more time, as we have heard many times, we can just repeat this recognition. You can stop thinking for a moment, because then you see that there is something about you that makes you still being here, present, alert, still being able to listen. It is a basic perception that is completely clear and completely free. It's free of all the learned habits of wanting to be special or all the habits of judging, criticism, jealousy, blame, all the things that we, you know, we might sit in the chair and all of this pops up. We just call this data, all these thoughts, emotions, all these ideas. But there is something about you that doesn't care about that. There's a quality, it's an ability for you to just let all of those data be as they are and instead train up to focus on that stability. So it's a very important key point that you have this already. You are open intelligence already. This isn't a training for something to be achieved. This is a training for you to instinctively recognize that this is so for you. And this quality as open intelligence can be uh, similar to a mirror. Because if you go to the mirror and you shout to the mirror, it, it doesn't break into pieces. If you go to the mirror and you cry in the mirror, the mirror doesn't start to cry. The mirror is unflinchingly stable but the mirror sees everything it doesn't ignore you crying it doesn't ignore you shouting it's there open available to fully experiencing it that is what happens when you decide to take a short moment of relying on open intelligence so that is the one single instruction in this training for short moments you rely on open intelligence repeatedly until it becomes continuous. And then you really see that you tap immediately into that mirror quality of yourself <coughs> that doesn't lose its energy into descriptions. That quality about yourself that are fully open and available to experience yourself full on. There isn't any datum too much. It's, it's just a matter of just taking <coughs> short moments with experiencing all kinds of thoughts, emotions, ideas, seeing everything clearly. Because the only way to see the stability within all experiences, to see that it's inseparable, is to check and see. <laughs> we couldn't get the answer from a book. We can only get the answer and the confirmation by testing it. So if you have questions about how can I experience this stability at all times, 
there is only one solution. And that is to, to really test within your life experience. And there is some experiences that are you know, wrong to test it in. All experiences, all data streams have an equal opportunity for you to see that there is something about you that is inseparable from what you are experiencing. <coughs> so you can just see that all the data are open intelligence expressing itself dynamically. When you let it be as it is, it just happens naturally. You don't need to do anything. So all the data streams you can see that directly in your own experience that you could never, never separate them. Even, you know, it's just an idea you had about that. But it, it is true that it's just the same as the color blue and the sky. You, you wouldn't go even out and try to separate, separate the blue from the sky. But with your own thoughts and emotions, you just decide again and again to use your beautiful life force and life energy to separate it out in endless descriptions. Endless descriptions. Endless descriptions of problems. I mean, s just think about your own life right now. How much time do you use of complaining and describing the problems? instead of going straight to seeing what could be a solution here. So this training really takes you out in each short moment, completely out of victimhood, to any experience. So that is truly the organic living of human life, because it's your living as that spontaneous expression of yourself, where there is nothing to be done anymore. We don't have any more questions about how to live our life. We just know. And then life just becomes so easy, so, so fun. But it takes some time to really get used to that, to settle in. To settle into the fact about yourself that, that none of this micromanagement of your data were ever, ever needed. And I see in my own life so much internalized oppression, so many thoughts and emotions that were wrong with me, so much emphasis on that, repeatedly. And now I see that I innocently did that because I didn't know how to not do it. And now I know how to not do it. And then I see, wow. This is just how life we're meant to be. And then I see there isn't any datum that can hurt me, can do anything to me. I can have ideas about that. Then I take a short moment and I say, OK, I can have an idea that, you know, this fear is just too much or this affliction is just too much. But every time, it has not failed me the last four or five years, every time I decided to take a short moment when I thought something would hurt me, I saw the same truth about every, every experience I had, just not only now, but just past, present and future, that each datum just comes spontaneously. So that's the organic living, it just comes spontaneously. All data is just not something you can decide, it's just there. And it's there for a while, and it disappear. And when it's gone, it's just like a flight path in the sky or a line drawn in water. That's who you are. That's who you are when you let data be as they are in each short moment you decide to take, directly in your own experience. And I, I had a, an amazing example of this uh, just a couple of weeks ago where I had uh, one of these uh, India things going on and uh, I was uh, very sick for around six hours. And I had really another level of recognition there because of course there was so much physical pain, fears of death even. It was just as if, 
if I can help it now, you know, all data is blazingly clear. I can't do anything about that. But that doesn't matter. So that's the difference. It's not the, the matter anymore of having less data, more data, or this and that and this and that. It's just the old way of using my intelligence is to jump from this and that and describing. Now it's just fine because I know what to do. So I discovered even in this violent situation, the body was like in full attack. But I saw it served me. I never gave myself a chance to see that. I was grateful to my body. I saw it was serving me completely, trying to get rid of this that had happened to enter my system. Full, you know, <laughs> serving me. And I was like, I was like, I couldn't believe this insight. Like, wow, because I wasn't afraid of the pain. I wasn't afraid of thinking that I, maybe I will die. <laughs> you know, it wasn't there. The thoughts were there, but it wasn't like, it could hurt me or, or change me in any way. So that's just an example of the power of the short moments immediately applied in the situations. So I remember in this training there was a time of being introduced to the training. So maybe, you know, the first open meeting there was something that was shared that was like, oh, this makes sense. I don't understand it mentally, but somehow my whole humanness was like, oh yeah, this is how it is to be human being. So there was an introduction, but I was just still thinking about how to take the short moments. I, I didn't take them because I, did, I just didn't understand. I, I thought I needed to understand the short moments to take them. But I heard the trainer say, you don't need to understand this. And if you don't know what a short moment is, totally fine. You don't need to make any more stories about that. You can just relax right there immediately and then choose to just show up to the training. So, so that's simply what I did. So in this training we, we say that for you to really take what we say and apply it to your own experience, we have a complete educational package for you to, to really be supported to do that. And we call it the Four Mainstays. That's the key. So if you're curious about experiencing this in your own experience, which is already present, it's just about stopping ignoring it and claiming it. Stopping ignoring it and claiming it. And then you see you don't only claim it for yourself, you claim it for hu whole humanity. Because what, what it was shared here, we are role models. <coughs> so in all relationships, the, the best we can do is to see that my purpose in this relationship is to serve you completely. In each short moment we see that. So the whole definition of relationships is how can I serve you, how can I be your benefit? Because we know innately that we don't need anything from anyone anymore. Game over. We are free to live, we are free to fly, we are free to be, we are free to be with each other. And then we're helplessly attracted to each other on how can I serve you today? What can I do for you today? With no like, you know, victim of, oh, I need to do this and hopefully that person will do this back to me. You know, that's not even on the agenda. How could we miss that simplicity of life? How could we really miss that simplicity of life? That is all search ends there in that recognition in short moments. It comes from you seeing that you're already at peace, you're already stable, you're already clear. Nothing is needed from any person, any place, any circumstance anymore. Like I love and Candy share, like coming here wanting nothing. That sentence is with me every day. It just bobs up into my mind and I, I can't want anything <laughs> anymore. Because I see the pain of that. I see the isolation of that, wanting something always. I had a whole lifetime of that, it was painful. So I said, no, I resign from wanting, wanting, wanting. And then I see my life is, <laughs> I feel like, you know, amazing, amazing, amazing. But you know, it's, I go back to the point that you don't need to believe that at all for this to be your own experience. You don't need to believe how amazing I feel my life is now, at all. You know, that's not necessary. But we are here to support you. 
if you want this to be recognized, your instinctive recognition, we have this education system that I shared about. So I, I, from my heart, I would say make it simple. Test, test the education system, which is that single instruction, short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous. Your recognition of it will be continuous. Open intelligence is always turned on, but you don't have the tools to recognize that it's always turned on. Now you have the tools. And we have a trainer that has tested this. And I can sign under. I've tested it with all kinds of data. Even, even seeing myself dying. Because every moment is a death anyway. Every moment I decide not to believe in me needing certain data to feel good is a death of an old way of living. So I feel completely prepared. Because I, I know from that example of feeling so sick the other day that, you know, it's, I, I can fall down here. <laughs> you know, anything can happen. So the trainer really is there to, to tell you it's safe. It's safe within all experience to let yourself be as you are. And then you automatically leave everyone as they are too. And peace is there immediately. That's what we want for each other. We want to leave ourselves as we are and others as they are. Then we can work together. Then we can live together. Then we can create together. Then it's flying. And we have the third mainstay of the training, the media. And this is for you to repeatedly be supported to check it in your own experience. You have the text, you have all the possibilities to expose yourself to these words that only point you to your instinctive recognition of yourself as open intelligence. There's nothing there that points you to the learned misinformation that there's something wrong with you and your data. Nothing. That's a love story to read those letters, to read those words. So in the, in the training, we, we have the opportunity to reflect on our insights. And I, I love to read my own insights again and again, because then I know who I am directly. The letters just shows me directly even if I could have doubts about anything in my life, I know it's just my mind being spontaneously and organically just, you know, doing its thing. And lastly, the fourth mainstay is the community. And this is quite obvious, because you are a community of data. You know, all these things, all your relationships to your anger, to your happiness, to your sadness, to, you know, it's like a full community of data. So when you are supported in this training to harmonize all the relationships with your own data, together with the community of friends, it's completely mirrored to you then that this is possible for all humanity. And this is a, a place where it's safe to test this new way of living. Everyone will understand you here. When you choose to take a short moment instead of going into argument, instead of going into long dramas and descriptions of your data, everyone here will understand when you decide, I just don't want to do that anymore. So the community is a completely safety zone to really test out this, this new way of living human life. And it's really about time that we, we stand up and we fly and we really see what it is to be a human being. What is truly what it is, beyond all we, s we see on TV, all the things we read about, you know, all of this, you can take short moments and see for yourself who you are. Not believe in what anyone else is saying, just test it. I think I said test it like 100 times in this talk, and if you, if you remember one word, it will be that word. 
test it. And we are here to support you. If you have any questions at all, come and ask us in open meetings or enjoy over uh, amazing media online or trainings on. I mean, there, there isn't any, if you are interested, there isn't any excuse. <laughs>